Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shanice Alicia, and today we're hopping right into my hygiene routine. From the shower to skincare, removing dead skin cells and locking in lots of moisture. You guys know we're moving into the cooler months and even though our bodies are technically put up, this is the best time to get them all the way together, in my opinion. Everything mentioned in today's video will of course be linked below in the description box. So jumping right in after completely drenching my body in water, I use my exfoliating gloves to apply this first product. Y'all, the Dove Body Cleanser, listen, when I say bomb, that's it. That's the message. Go get you some. But this is the Moisture Boost Formula with Hyaluronic Serum and Moringa Oil. They have an entire line though. I have used the Radiance Renew Formula that has vitamin C for a more even and glowy skin tone. In case anyone was wondering, I am a Hyaluronic Serum type of girl. It it's a humectant, so it naturally draws in and retains a lot of moisture. It helps to pull up the skin as well as promoting cell regeneration. Next, I'm moving in with this bath cloth from Eco Tools. I love, 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 love this, okay? It helps me to reach my mid and lower back. It gives me a pretty decent scrub in hard to reach places, especially those areas that you can't get with a washcloth. This is a great tool for anyone who suffers from back acne. Now, hear me out. I know, using a sugar scrub on top of those exfoliating gloves can be a little excessive for some. I get it completely. And this step is optional, especially if you have super sensitive skin that gets irritated very easily. But as for me and mine, we're going to scrub a dub dub, okay? This is my absolute favorite from Tree Hut. It's the Tropical Glow Firming Scrub. I do switch back and forth between this one and any of the Dove body scrubs, which are more gentle and moderate of an exfoliant in my opinion. But yeah, I go to town with exfoliating. It's great for removing dead skin cells, also unclogging your pores, preventing acne, and most importantly, it helps with blood circulation from the massage and motions you do while doing it. Next up, I'm using my regular Smegula Original Dove Bar Soap. Now introducing, baby. I do go back and forth between this and the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Castile Soap. It just really depends on what I'm feeling for that day. I use them all over, including my lady parts, y'all. I like to keep it simple, okay, from the Ruta to the Suda. I have tried different types of feminine washes here and there, but in my personal opinion, they're not necessary. So if you do want to find a good one, I do suggest using the L brand. You guys have seen me talk about them in vlogs before. They are pH balanced, very gentle, fragrance free, and everything else. So if you're interested, I suggest that. Also, I am an active member in the white washcloth only committee. That is all that I use for my face and body. 
Now, baby, this right here, an essential, okay? Whenever I go get pedicures, I never let them use that cheese grater on me. I don't know, I don't know. Something just seems suspicious and uh-uh. That's exactly what it gives, eh -eh. So I do like to keep up with using a pumice stone like twice to three times a week if I need to. Showers done. What I didn't show you guys was me pat drying my skin. I like to do that instead of rubbing vigorously back and forth with the towel. Girl, we delicate over here, okay? Anyway, so now we're about to move into skincare. I love to create the spa type vibe in my house. So the first thing that I do is set up my facial steamer. Everything about it is top tier. It helps to open up my pores and when I start to do my skincare it really helped me to penetrate and get all of those products in. It typically runs the entire course of me brushing my teeth and washing my face. Speaking of brushing my teeth, your girl is going in first with the Oral-B Dental Floss. Y'all should know, regular, smegular, I'm just gonna make that C shape around each and every individual tooth from the back to the front, so on and so forth. Then with my favorite toothpaste by Arm & Hammer, this is the Peroxy Care. It's a deep clean formula. It whitens, also strengthens up the enamel, removes plaque. You guys know it has baking soda and peroxy Oxide, so great benefits there for clean teeth, also fresh breath. Are the girlies still gargling? Because I be in the bathroom going to town like every morning and night. For facial cleanser, I've been using Murad products. Y'all, I love, 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 love them. I do switch back and forth between the hydration and vitamin C cleansers they have. I really enjoyed this one though because it's a gentle exfoliant with AHA and BHA. It has salicylic and glycolic acid in it and it's really good for reviving dull skin texture and boosting moisture. Next up is a holy grail in my routine. This is the Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Toner. I've legit been using this since like middle or high school, you guys. My mama put me on and she still uses it to this day. It's super gentle, fragrance free, helps to lift away anything left over after cleansing and it also evens out the skin tone. I do like to use these extra large exfoliating cotton rounds to apply it but y'all I'm just extra the regular ones work just the same next is this rapid dark spot correcting serum it's also by Murad and it's vitamin C infused it's from their environmental shield line so pretty self-explanatory I do two pumps all over I usually lightly apply this with my fingertips and then I press it into the skin I use upward massage type motions I try to be mindful about the amount of pulling and tugging I do on my face especially downwards. I remember growing up, my grandma used to teach me that defying gravity preserves your youth. Okay, so yeah. Moving into another holy grail in my routine. Yes, it's a hyaluronic acid serum. This time it's for the face. And when I say I use this day and night faithfully, like I told you guys, it's my best friend for moisture and plumping up the skin. It locks in, tightens up, and helps my skin just look super radiant after I apply it. 
Now onto my moisturizer and eye cream. They're both from e.l.f. Skin and they're a part of the Holy Hydration line. Y'all, please do not sleep on e.l.f. I've been using their skincare for years. Super affordable and very comparable to higher end products in my personal opinion, especially these two same application method. I actually use my ring fingers only to apply the eye cream. I have seasonal allergies and I suffer from dark circles. So anything that I can use to help boost moisture, reduce the look of fine lines and eliminate puffiness in the area is also my bestie so moving on to another product from the ordinary y'all i love 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 this glycolic acid it's marketed to use on the face but of course the girlies over on tiktok have influenced us to use it everywhere else under god's sun me personally i've been using it for my pits and i have seen a noticeable difference i will say that i look forward to reaping more benefits from using it more consistent in the future but in terms of overall tone and texture there have been some major improvements so I definitely suggest to try this out it's cheap for it to be a toning solution like it is to the final steps of wrapping up this body care routine. Baby, y'all already knew how I was stepping. I'm layering products from my line EXO Shanice Alicia. When you layer, you get the best benefits in terms of just really sealing in moisture. The souffle that I'm using has mango butter in it and it's great for hydrating and improving elasticity in the skin. It's very soothing for sensitive skin too a little goes a long way so y'all don't have to use a lot and it just melts right into the skin i like to seal it all up with the moroccan rose body glaze this is a very lightweight oil and it's infused with rose petals rose hip and argan oil that little combo right there girl get you some don't play So this is going to wrap it up for today's video. Sidebar, I'm still in search of a really good lip scrub and lip mask to incorporate into my routine. So if you guys have any suggestions, please be sure to share them down below. Nonetheless, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would like to see more like it, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button to join the family i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in my next video peace guys mm -hmm.